Imagine feeling very, very sad, depressed, day in and day out. Now, wouldn't it be very, very difficult to think positively? Wouldn't it be very hard to see things in a very good light? Possibly you may begin to, you may always think very negatively. Like you may see wrong in every situation because you are depressed. Would it really be a surprise if that person were to go to someone that is innocent, that did not do any wrong to the depressed person? Would it be surprised if that depressed person began to cause issues with the innocent person? There is a depressed person I know of. And I believe that individual said one time, like, I forget the exact uh, thing that person said, but pretty much that person felt jealous because someone or some people could do something that he or she could not. Imagine that. Also, I believe that person causes issues with people because of depression. And you may say, Kevin, you know, why can't that person just, you know, why can't that person just be peaceful? Why can't that person just be like a, not so much a pleasure, but like, why can't that person just stop being bad or whatever else like that? If you don't know God, maybe you do know God, but if you are always depressed, if you are always negative, like, wouldn't it be very difficult to really, really contemplate on positive things? So the person that may be causing you so much trouble are depressed. Like, imagine yourself. If you were depressed all the time and mainly can see only the negative or mainly the negative, I mean, like you will, I would assume, be focused on the negative. And what happens when you focus on the negative so much? I believe it becomes part of you. So you may be jealous of other people's happiness. You may be jealous of other people's success. When some good things are happening to someone, you may not feel so good about it because of what you are going through. I hope this is making sense. Am I giving excuses for depressed people? No. Am I telling you you have to be friends with every depressed person? I am not saying that. But this may give you like a closer, can I say inspection? This may give you a better idea of why, I am not saying all, but why some people may treat you like trash or may treat you like you are nothing. I believe it comes back to that individual first. 
maybe not that person first, maybe something happened to that person when they were younger, then they probably don't know how to cope with it. So pretty much, I would say, in some cases, that person is taking out their, can I say, so-called frustration out on other people. But I really hope this is making sense. Like, if you are always thinking negatively, if you can't really think about positive thoughts, like, you are being tormented with thoughts of being less than, not being enough. Like, you have thoughts of you being evil and not worth anything and a failure. Like, let's say you are having thoughts like that and more every single day. Like, how can you really, like, I believe most of those people probably would be in a bad mood every day. I think I would too, right? This is one of the reasons, even if it is difficult, to always try to think positively. Like myself, um, I have issues when it comes down to people. And I also have issues when it comes down to spiritual things as well. So it's like I'm being hit on both sides. Imagine that. I am not saying like there are probably other people who get it worse than me. I am not saying that you know, I suffer the most as a Christian. No way. I would not say that. But it seems like I am getting hit on both sides. I probably could fall into depression very easily. I probably could. Very easily. But what helps me is trying to keep my mind focused on Jesus Christ focused on his principles, focused on the Bible. Like uh, I listened to part of a teaching, was it last night or early this morning? And it really encouraged me. Because like, if your mind is not really on the word of God much, like you may begin to forget why certain things are happening to you. You may forget the purpose of why you are on this earth and stuff like that. Not to say that we know everything in the Bible, not to say everything that we know of our purpose of being here, but I believe if you keep your mind on God and on the Bible, like, if you really have love for God, I believe it will keep you, I don't want to say intact, but I think it will keep you focused. Let me say this too. As a Christian, we have to help people. And you may say, Kevin, I don't have money. It is not always about money. Sometimes people may need your time. They may need a person to speak with. They may need, you know, like it is not always about money. It is not. Anyways, as a Christian, we have to help people. And I think it is very easy to want to help a person who is not giving you problems. I think that is very, very simple, right? But I believe the challenge is helping someone 
who is very difficult, who gets on your nerves so much. I think the challenge is there. Luke chapter 6, verses 32 through 33. For if ye love them which love you, what thank have ye? For sinners also love those that love them. So what do you believe this is saying? Okay, you are a Christian. And you are supposed to be different than a sinner. Like, uh, we should be higher than sinners when it comes down to morality. So, like, is it any struggle to love those who love you? Is it like, are you really doing something strange or very difficult to love those who love you? I believe the test is to love those who don't love you, to love those who give you a hard time, to love those who you really struggle with. Verse 33. And if ye do good to them which do good to you, what thank have ye? For sinners also do even the same. Once again, here we go again. As Christians, we should be more moral than sinners. So, it is good and it is easy to do good to them that do good for you, right? It's easy to love them that love you. It's easy to give someone a birthday present when they constantly give to you. For an example, I guess in some cases, unless you are very stingy, I guess. But if someone is doing good to you, I guess, depending on what type of person you are, it probably would not be very hard for you to do good to someone that does good to you. But listen here, I believe the struggle is is to good to do good to those that accuse you falsely that lie on you that goes to your boss and tries to get you fired people like that i think it is very difficult to do good for people like that but those are the people we can't forget about those are the type of people that we need to help. You may say to me, Kevin, I understand what you are saying, but what if those people take advantage of me? What if those people treat me worse? Depending on the case, you may have to separate yourself from certain people. You don't really have to be around every bad person in this world. Of course, think of safety. Of course, think of, in, in a sense, your well-being. In some cases, you may have to distance yourself from some people, yet, I don't think every bad person, yet I don't think you have to be that way toward every bad person. Can't you agree with that? We can't only love those that love us. We can't only do good for those that do good for us. We need to seek out those you know, what I have been learning, we have to, let me say this first, 
we have to seek out those who are in need, not only towards, you know, food and stuff like that, but in mental, emotional need. I have been learning. I guess sometimes I may place myself in a bubble, if you know what I mean. And I believe I have been realizing there are so many people who are in mental and emotional need. In some cases, yeah, we need to mind our business, but in some cases too, we need to get into some people's business if they allow. If you understand what I am saying by that. We can't be only concerned of ourselves. Um, I went somewhere and um, this may not be the full case, but I went somewhere and as it seemed to me, where I went, I didn't see too much love. Like, I didn't see, I didn't see, like, much of people really wanting to help people. I saw some of it, but I guess the, what I sensed, and I may have been wronged, like, at least from what I saw, I felt like there was not much love in that area or not much concern for other people. As Christians, we can't be that way. And you may say, well, Kevin, that person probably would never do what I am doing for them or me. And that may be the case. They probably would not go as far for you that you are going for them. But as a Christian, your mind should not really be focused on that. Your mind should be focused on helping people. Not to say that you have to do this for 20 hours a day. Not to say you have to do it 16 hours a day. What I am saying, do something. Do something that is going to benefit another. Not only yourself, but another. Just because someone you have encounter, encountered is selfish, doesn't mean you have to be that way as well. I hope this makes sense. Let me stop here, though. May God bless us.